Hi everyone, welcome. If you join us today, we're doing a little walk along the Cromford Canal. So please smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna go and see how many inductions we can find. See if we can find any swans. And then we'll cut some of the buildings around Cromford. This is an unusual feature because it looks like a in part of the canal here. I'll show you. It's got its own little doorway and then an old path. It's obviously not used anymore. And it runs up the hill. Very interesting. This old area is uh, Cromford Mills. So this is Cromford Mills. shop and then we have a calf here at the old mills so here we have a cheese shop artisan award-winning cheese range and we have a book shop And here we have the water that runs through the mill. We're doing a lot of building work over here. Uh, water powered cotter spinning frame. So there's a water running through the mill. Obviously, a lot of it's shut up, so um, it is November at the time of filming. So, this is free, free to walk around. So, definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. You do have to pay for parking though in the car park. So here is the actual water mill itself uh, and they're rebuilding it with a hydraulic turbine. Obviously it's mid-works at the minute. There is a viewing platform up there as well but it's short. bridges here on the canal mm. oh, yeah. who is it dedicated to Shelley. Shelley in memory of Shelley Redfern 
1970 to 1999. 59 years old. Yeah. So this is the way down to Cromford Meadows. We're not going down there though. Been a lot of water. But I want to show you this. Now what is it with old gates and me? I just keep keep finding them and then wondering how how, how old these gates are. I mean this one looks really old again. Obviously with a modern padlock on it. Hmm, very interesting. So I hope you're enjoying it. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. I do lots of walks like this. If we get the right weather, we'll try as best to get out as much as possible. I'll show you the hills. And you can walk up there. That is part of Cromford Meadows. You can see it's beautiful. So if you're staying in Derbyshire on a holiday or you're passing through, highly recommend you visit Cromford. I should point out at the time of filming this, it is November, so it is autumnal weather and the leaves are falling off the trees. I'll show you the river. It's flowing quite fast today. <clears throat> There's a little information board on the Comfort Canal, which opened in 1794, engineered by William Jessup and Benjamin Outram. 14.5 miles from Comfort to Langley Mill. And this section between Cromford and Umbergate was built in 1794 by William Jessup. It was acquired in 1974 by the Derbyshire County Council. Just found the thinnest hole in the wall. Let's have a quick look and see what it is. No, it's nothing. It's just a light shed. It's quite uh, bizarre. Just, just because of how thin that the entrance is. Another very bizarre but interesting feature. With these three pillars. So this is the wharf shed. 1962. Where goods were exchanged between boats and wagons in 1853, extension to the track connected to the line to Ambergate to Rose's line. Confident the High Peak Railway it was no longer just a link to the canal. Engines, engine must not enter this warehouse. It's even got the old original feature here, look. What was that for height? Not quite sure. And there's more to the wolf shed as we walk around. Walk around to the old chimney now and check that out. You can see it there. Let's see if we can get a good view of it from the side. There we go. Great photo um, and image.
look at the size of the chimney on that. Another shot of it, shall we? Yeah. I used to be able to get down there, but they've blocked it off now. They've blocked off, find the river would have been really high. This is the old cottage, which has uh, been recently restored. And you can actually walk up to the top and there's a wooded walk you can do. I definitely recommend doing the walk around the woods. So yeah, where the cottage is, there, we're now walking across an aqueduct. This is the aqueduct. And the reason why we've got an aqueduct is because we're crossing the river. So we've got a canal crossing the river. Very fast flowing, busy river. on there but obviously it's gated this would have been a way down interestingly look at the, all the coal that's on the roof I assume this is a coal shed so if you wonder what this is this is the leeward pump The heat of the boilers, the smell of the grease and coal, and the power of the wave. As tons of water were pumped from the River Derwent into the Cromford Canal. <laughs> I don't think this is open, is it? Does anyone know what this does? I'm going to go with it says back, stop, and go, which is the pulley system which would have pulled the trains from the bottom of the hill up to the very top. And trust me, folks, this image does not do it justice, but this is a very, very big hill. Okay, does anyone have any idea what this is? I'll tell you, this is the catch pit where if the trains broke free, or the carriages, sorry, broke free, they would get caught down here in the catch pit. Is that sign telling you about it? 120 miles an hour. The kick trains to get up to. In 1888, it was a spectacular accident here involving a brake van carrying gunpowder. Wow. <coughs> Two years later, this catch pit was built 
We went serious accident at the workshops on mainline below. Cheap pass it in. Okay guys, the image seems to be a bit steamy down right down here. It is raining again. Um that's just to show you what the catch bit looked like. It swoops down and it was designed to catch any carriages that broke free. This is Kelly's corner. Someone's gone out of the way to put that on there. Very interesting. It's going to treat you to some more views of the river. And we actually had an amazing Kingfisher spot. Um, camera does not do it justice, guys. So this place is called Willersey Castle. It's an activity centre now. It's absolutely stunning views over the river. Okay, so a quick wander around St Mary's Parish Church of Cromford. All around the grounds. Got the gate here. Shall we sit it? Only a little churchyard. David Valley Mills World Heritage Site. Gorgeous view of the castle. Remember that. Pan around and show you the church. We'll get a central view of the church. It's actually locked up at the moment, so we can't go in and see it. But I'm going to take you around to show you the Arkwright Graves. We've got Arkwright Graves at the back. Let's go and find the Arkwright Graves, which is at the back of here. Some people put a sign up to show you where it is, which is unusual. You don't normally get that, obviously, they don't want people just walking all over the place trying to find the. Uh, the outright graves. There's not many of them, that's for sure. So this graveyard has six graves, all from the outright family. And of course, a lot of them are in disrepair now. Until the day break and the shadows flee away. That's the first one. There's a view of the church. I do apologise, I cannot see the names on the gravestones at all. When morning gilds the skies, heart awaiting, oh, that's lies, Jesus Christ be praised. And then we have the other three gravestones here. So yeah, there's uh can't walk in the church unfortunately, it'd be nice if we could have done, but um, it's uh, locked. I 
can give you an image of it round the front here. It's at the bottom of the mills here, you've got a, some little wooden sculptures. There's a view of the church. It's probably going to be the final thing we'll look at today. So I really hope you enjoyed this walk. Highly recommend it. Definitely somewhere you should visit if you're in Derbyshire. So I've made two people very happy today um, because I was looking at the Kingfisher and I pointed it out to a couple who were hiking and uh, they were very grateful to see a kingfisher. It's a bit like deja vu from the time I was in Matlock and uh, I pointed out one to a Canadian couple and the poor woman was crying her eyes out because um, she'd never had the chance to see a kingfisher the last time she'd come to England and she was quite old and it was her last chance she said her last chance and she got to see one um so yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching i uh, really hope you enjoyed it like i said uh if you did enjoy it please consider subscribing thank you very much and if you're not joined to the channel as a member please consider joining it costs 1.99 a month and it's a way of supporting me and my family to make more content for you guys and girls so i'll leave it at that thank you and goodbye